the war. Sri Lanka, however, has challenged the U1 estimate. In a alleged letter, U.S. President Barack Obama has sent to North Korean leader Kim Jong-il may determine the course of future relations between the two countries. Here's more on that. When U.S. Special Envoy to North Korea Stephen Bosworth detailed his visit to Pyongyang to a frenzied news conference in Seoul two weeks ago, he left out the fact that he had delivered a personal letter from President Barack Obama for North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. Back in Washington, administration officials tried to avoid divulging its contents. As the back-channel negotiations that have characterized relations between the U.S. and North Korea continue. The president, uh, uh, without getting into the details of diplomatic correspondence, uh, the president's letter uh, to the North Koreans coincided with and was delivered by uh, uh, Mr. Bosworth, who was there to... Uh, get the North Koreans who are isolated in a way that the Iranians will soon be from the international community based on their provocative actions uh, to convince them to do what is in their interest and that's come back to the table and ultimately live up to the agreements they signed uh, to give up uh, and to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. Widespread reports emanating from South Korea's official news agency Yonhap suggest Obama's letter proposed opening a U.S. liaison office in Pyongyang. That report was soon roundly denied by both Seoul and Washington. Meanwhile, analysts believe the U.S. is looking to offer North Korea more diplomatically with the usual conditions. North Korea now wants peace treaty and normalization of relations with the U.S. If the two agenda really were on the table during Bosworth's visit to Pyongyang, I think it is likely to be on the six parties negotiating table too. But from the U.S. perspective, such talks will only happen when the North abandons its nuclear weapons program, and I don't think that's very likely. Despite the lingering skepticism of the experts, it seems momentum is leading toward further contacts. I spoke with several analysts on the prospective contents of U.S. President Barack Obama's letter to North Korean leader Kim Jong-il, and they all seem to agree on at least one fact. The purpose of that message was to get North Korea back to the six-party talks, and Obama probably offered Kim a considerable inducement to encourage those denuclearization negotiations to resume. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.